Hello everyone. Today we are going to walk alpacas. <laughs> thank you to these incredible people whose names you can see who support the Brunfords on Patreon, especially during this incredibly difficult time. Thank you very much. Hello everyone. Just before we get to the main video, I just wanted to give a big shout out to everyone and say I hope you're all well, hope you're all okay during this incredibly weird time that we're all living through. This video was filmed about a week and a half before Scotland went into lockdown, so uh, that's why we're out and about, obviously. It's got a little bit of a different feel than normal videos because we don't really talk a lot. We don't really say, oh, this is what you do this way. It's more just about, you know, come along and have a nice little journey with us as we were fortunate enough to be able to go and walk these alpacas, which is very cool. So hopefully it's just got a chance to take you out of things and you can just relax a bit. Remember, the channel's not going anywhere. We're going to be doing a video somehow every Saturday, so please remember to leave comments, let me know what sort of stuff you would like to see, uh, if it's Scottish recipes or anything like that. Please let us know so I can uh, try to plan some videos ahead as well since we can't really go out anymore because we are virtually in lockdown here right now. So keep yourself safe, keep washing your hands, keep social distancing. Clan Brindford, look after each other, but let's go join past me as we go walk some alpacas. So Kirsten organised this a little while ago, um, at least two months ago. This is incredibly popular. You we have were to... really lucky to get these yeah. spaces as well. Yeah, you have to book this way in advance. Um, it's really, really difficult. Kirsten was keeping her eye on the website for it to open. So if you want to do this, I'll leave the link in the, um, in the description if you want to go. But you have to book well in advance for this one. And you know... Walking alpacas. Nothing wrong with that. You can take one home. No. She's running off in front of me already. So this is where we are. Bobcat alpacas. Here at the Pentlands. Look at this. This is Calvin. He is my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> and I am with Balthazar. And Balthazar likes to sing. Uh -huh. He's singing away. <laughs> he's he's singing. Noise? Yeah, he likes to talk to himself apparently. You are just beautiful. You are just beautiful. They're allowed to walk about and live happily all the time. The alpacas are in charge in this walk. If they want to stop and eat, we stop and eat. This one sings all the time. No other alpacas making noise. I picked the one that sings. So Kirsten's off with her alpaca. She's way at the front, singing at the rear here. Here, aren't we, pal? So the walk with these beautiful guys is about 90 minutes. We only go for a walk for about a mile. So you, that tells you the pace because they lead it. If they want to stop, we stop. We have water, we have food. They're in charge. Kirsten seems to be getting on great with her alpaca there. Quite happily bonded, walking along. And then Balthazar keeps singing beside me. Best <laughs> that's you. Yeah, that's you. That's you sing. Yeah. I'm loving Calvin's stories here. Uh-huh. Mm, see, told you. That's you? Yeah, mm. that's you. Uh, uh -huh. This is Calvin. He's actually really well behaved. It's only when he, he finds something he wants to eat. But apart from that, he has been really well behaved. Calvin's having a great time. He's like, yeah, food. All right. So they were telling us we're only walking with males and um, these are not used for farming of their meat or anything, purely their wool. And the walks are part of the enrichment for them.
It was brilliant. It was so much fun. It was, and we're walking for about 90 minutes ish. Yeah, and it was an easy long. walk. It wasn't like no. hard going or no, anything. No, no, it's really slow, it's nice and easy. And as well as obviously getting out on the walk, they've got a massive, huge amount of land oh, yeah. to live in. Yeah. Huge amount of land to live in. Um, and they're only um, kept for their wool. That's it. It's not like farming for their meat or anything like that. And taking them out as part of their enrichment. And they're also used for helping in old folks' homes and working with autistic children and all this sort of thing. We did get incredibly lucky today with the weather. Yeah. I don't think we could have got a better day for it. Actually, it's not too hot. It's not too cold. No wind, no rain. Just the path and the alpacas. That was brilliant. It's so much fun. Yeah. Um, it was so relaxed. Um, all the alpacas were, the, every one of them was so friendly and happy. And, well, <laughs> uh, apart from that teenager at the end. One, when we met the, I don't know if I got it on film or not, when we met the <laughs> young ones, there's one that he says is a bit of a mischievous teenager and likes to say hello by running up and chest bumping everyone. So you had to keep she, your eye. She pummeled at the head Yeah, back, she like. really pummeled at the guy like, hey, give me food. Uh, but that was lovely. I couldn't recommend it higher. Um, it was so relaxed and so nice. Um, there, he obviously loves them so, so much. All those alpacas yeah. and cares. It knows every one of them by name. Yeah, and I think it. that's the thing. It's it's his pets. Like he yeah. he genuinely cares and loves for them, but obviously needs a bit of income. Yeah. and to look after them. So it's good that the males get the enrichment. To, to go out, get a bit of exercise yeah. with it as well, yeah. which is it, really good. It was lovely, it was really good. And remember, if you do want to book that, it's months in advance, because they don't do it all the time, because obviously it's it's just enrichment. They don't do it every day. It's not like this is, they take them out every day, so it's... No. Uh, it's and especially not at breeding in uh, lamb, or what, what do they call the baby ones? I can't remember. Not when there's babies Began either. When, not when there's babies. Yeah. yeah. So it's really restricted because uh, they don't want they don't overwork them in any way. No. They take them in small groups. Group sizes are really limited as well. So it's really something if you want to do it, you're going to have to um, plan in advance and keep your eye on the website. But couldn't recommend it higher. If you enjoyed that, guys, please remember to give it a like, uh, give it a subscribe. Um, leave a comment and also why don't you go check out the new channel as well with me just doing stupid stuff for the sake of it Making a mess in our house basically. Making a mess <laughs> in our house generally um, If you do want to go to Bobcat Alpacas and walk with the alpacas we'll leave a link in the description Absolutely So absolutely. that you can do it yourself because it was so much fun uh, But I think we will leave it there Till next time Bye humans! Bye humans, stay safe!